What's up YouTube friends and welcome to Love YouTube channel where we love everything about digital art and graphic design. And it's time for another Adobe Illustrator tutorial and this time we are going to create this beautiful triangle pattern. We are going to use again random script. So first thing we are going to do and you have to have is to install a random script along with other scripts into our Adobe Illustrator. So how to do it? It's easy. First, you have to visit this uh, Git repository where you will download the file and we will unzip this zip file into our script directory for Adobe Illustrator. So just, I will leave link in the description section with this link and you will go into code and click on download zip. And after you do it, you will just open the right directory uh, where you have scripts. As you can see, I have Windows. So for me, it's in program files, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator 2023, presets, English and scripts. There is a scripts folder. And here you have to unzip the content of the zip file you, will, you have downloaded. It should look later like this with all kind of GS X files and then you just restart your Adobe Illustrator and in file scripts you should have new scripts of course we have installed more than just one script you can only pick random JSX but the other ones are also useful so I recommend installing all you don't know what you will need in future and there you will have random so and now we can start. So how to do this? It's quite easy. Let's create new document with full AG resolution. And so first thing we are going to do, we are going to use polygon tool. So click with right button on the rectangle tool and choose polygon tool from the menu and start drawing, but hold shift key. So we remain the same angle and Let's make it about this size, maybe. Now we want to rotate it to, I think, 90 degrees. So again, hold shift key because it rotates then according to 45 degrees. And we want that. As you can see, 90 degrees is like that. And now we want to unselect and select again, right button, line segment tool. And now make sure that in the view you have checked smart guys it will help us to connect uh, uh, to connect these opposite sides that's what we want to do now so we will just connect opposite sides like that it's quite easy because uh, Adobe Illustrator is helping us cool and now select all of this with the uh, uh, selection tool and in the properties or, or in the window pathfinder uh, let's use pathfinder here click on divide well so we have now divided uh, our um, object into several triangle objects so now when we will select the direct selection, direct selection tool, we can see that we have different triangles now. And what we want to do now is to select all of them and just drag it down and hold Alt and Shift key like that. And connect it like that, I, like I did now. And then press Ctrl D on your, in your windows and it will just repeat of course on your mac it's supposed to be command d now as you can see we have done this uh, column and we will select it and just move it a little bit to the top and now we will do something similar we will drag it to the right hold alt and shift key and connect it like that of course on your Mac it will be option key and shift key and now press ctrl D 
or Command D on your Mac to fill the rest of it. Now we can um, basically select all and move it kind of to the center. Now we want to cut it because um, there are parts that are blank or empty as you can see these at the top and down. So how to get rid of it so we will have a perfect, uh, uh, perfect rectangle. Oh, it's easy. We will use rectangle tool and we will just create another rectangle and we will create rectangle and we will make it so that it will connect uh, these lines like that and then we will press Ctrl A or Command A and go into Pathfinder again and find crop and now as you can see we have created of course uh, one thing it has we have lost our borders so but you as you can see we have now cool rectangle with triangle shapes in it and we can press ctrl a uh, select everything and go into object, craft, uh, artboard and fit to select art. And now we will select everything and we don't need to really stroke again. So be in the properties, in the appearance. If you don't see appearance, it's in window appearance. We will just select, we will just click and select um, stroke. And now we have to select everything again. And we will use now our trick first but first first let's fill it with some background so for this tutorial I have chosen blue background let's do it as you can see now it looks like um, blue background let's zoom in it looks like we have some blank space here and there for some reason let's go object artboard fit to select art Sometimes it does things like that for some reason. Again, select everything and go into File, File Scripts, Randomness. And now it's very easy. There is an opacity um, column and we we'll just click on opacity and press OK. <laughs> and that's it. Of course, you can choose whatever color you want or maybe you can choose multiple colors. So that's about it guys, it was quite easy, I told you so. And I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you are new on this channel, you can subscribe for more Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop tutorials and videos related to graphic design and digital art. And remember until next time, stay creative, bye.